guys so we're out in London today and we've got some big things planned today I'll be going to the Google office to work with one of my mates I don't work at Google for everyone who doesn't know already but today I'm gonna to be working from those offices uh, it's really nice to show you guys around London a little bit and show you guys what daily usually looks like when I'm in the city um, I don't usually do this vlogging style but I might start doing a little bit more from now. Um, it's a bit weird holding a camera out in public and anytime you hold a camera out everyone always wants to talk to you. So there's a little surprise for you guys. Um, hopefully I should be going to a meeting with Ali Abdal which is really cool but I don't know if they'll let me in because I'm not a Google employee but we'll find out. We will find out and if they do amazing if they don't this video is not going to be as exciting as it would be, but let's see. Alright people, so walking up to the Google building right now. I hope it will be fun. I'm waiting for my friend and I've got a visitor's pass so I can get in and yeah, explore the building. So be in there in a sec. So I've just found myself a nice spot in the Google office to work from and you could see me opening my juice right now and having a little drink. Um, but for today, I'll be working from the Google office. And I know the question on a lot of you guys' minds is what does a typical day of a cloud engineer actually look like? Well, I'm a cloud engineer working in cloud security at the moment and a typical day is really, really hard to define. Working in cloud, you definitely work in loads of different areas and no day is actually the same. It's a bit of a problem sometimes. But one thing that is almost always the same is the update call. And depending on what company you work for, either every morning or every end of the day, you have what's called an update call, where you come together and share what's going on, what you're working on, what difficulties you have to make sure that the team is up to date and knows what you're doing and you know what they're doing and this is typical for any engineer working in tech some people call it a sync call some people call it a stand up and this is a really important part of your day other than that the day is super different each day one thing that i always make sure that i do is to keep upskilling and training so every week i have a couple of slots maybe two three or even four hours in total where i have some time set aside to train to do a course online to learn a new skill to just train. So right now, I'm about to head to a meeting with Ali Abdal, and I even managed to talk to Ali Abdal himself. For those who haven't heard of Ali Abdal, he is a super popular YouTuber with over 5 million subscribers. Oh, being smart about how we were managing our, our time. Yeah. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, let's take another question. Hey Ali, thanks for coming. Um, my question is kind of burnout related. So sometimes I reach a point where my stress level reduces the quality level of my work. And if I keep going, I can feel yeah. quality dropping. So my question is, how do I maintain consistency when I feel that quality level drop in and also maintain the quality at the same time? Yeah, this is really hard. Um, I think the solution is to not feel stressed about it. <laughs> because the feeling of stress is the thing that causes the burnout. Obviously, there are going to be times in our life if, you're, if we're launching a new product and it's like crunch time and it's like the 48 hours before. Yeah, acute stress in those moments is like fine. Stress becomes very, very, very bad for your health when it becomes chronic stress, when it becomes stress over a longer period of time. <sighs> like, how do we deal with stress? It's, it's, it's going to be the basic stuff, taking breaks, recharging every 45 minutes. Walking in nature, weirdly, like being around trees and greenery and stuff has a measurable effect on people's yeah. stress levels. For me, what I find is when I'm feeling stressed, again, lowering the bar, taking things a little bit less seriously, because at the end of the day, it's not that, most things are not that deep. You know, most of us do a work in front of a laptop. 
you know, we're not in the business of saving lives. And even when people are in the business of saving lives, it, they also benefit from just trying to trying to lighten the mood just a little bit. So to me, that's that's the ultimate. Take a break, take a walk, get outside. That's the thing. But I think one thing I've found is that if you feel swamped, sitting down with somebody, anybody actually, and just talking through what's on your list really helps you to sort of figure out where you can drop or delay or deprioritize. And uh, it's one of the things I encourage our teams to do as well. But anyway, thank you very much for that question. We'll take a couple more questions and then we'll be co close to the close. Here we go. Well, everybody, can we just say what an amazing talk it's been? <laughs> and I knew he was going to be brilliant, but he's delivered more than we could ever have expected. He's good looking. He's funny. He's got loads of insights. He's given us the chance to de-stress. De can I ask you to join me in riotous applause for Ali? Now, when work was done, Ben and I headed to the office game room. There was so much cool stuff in here, so many cool games, but I had one thing on my mind, and that was absolutely destroying Ben in a game of FIFA. Ben is about to get smoked in FIFA. That's, yeah. <laughs> That's real life, he's about to get destroyed. I'll show you the scores after the game. It's a bit peak for him, I won't lie. From our changes in seating position and the looks on our faces, you can tell that this is not a game. Okay, it is a game, but to us, this means so much more. It was a tough game with loads of goals involved, loads of tackles, but it was a great affair. When it was all said and done, Caleb was victorious. The final score was 5-2 to Caleb. He scored an amazing goal to end off the affair, and I'll play that goal for you now. Like that. Look at that, look at that. Bang, bang, chip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, look at that. Look at that, chip. Wonderful. Yeah, today has been a sick day at Google. Um, out here with my brother. What are you saying, Ben? Come on, invited Caleb to the Google offices. Yeah. Showing them around, second time here. Eh? They're looking for someone who invited me. Um, it wasn't him, bro. It was someone else. <laughs> I didn't sneak into any events. It was an amazing event. Uh, I got to speak to Ali Abdal himself. Crazy, bro. Got to ask him uh, a question which is on my mind, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate Ben for bringing me out. And uh, this is the office. Got to work from here. I've got some more events planned soon. So it's gonna be lit. As you can see, it's rainy London. This is very typical. <laughs> very typical. You know, one minute it's, the sun is shining, next minute it's raining. This is this is no surprise. We're heading to our next event. This is a WeWork event. And uh, let's see how it goes. Hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video this has been really really fun and a really really fun day let me know if you guys want to see more day in the lives and i'll see you guys in the next video